Hey everyone, this is Pokemon Bri hopping in here again. Before getting into today's video, I just want to remind everyone of the giveaway that I have going on for the month of February. It's for this PSA 9 Amazing Rare Rayquaza. In order to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite poll is from today's video. And I'll be the an announcing the winner of this giveaway on the video that drops March 1st. For today's video, we're going to be diving into a product that I, I'm i a fan of these. I like them. It's, I mean, it's gambling on gambling. I'm not even going to shortchange it. But it's for uh, mystery boxes. I only pick these up when they are priced right in my mind, and that's about 5 maybe $6 a pack. So these come in right with it because it includes, um, it actually includes a full tin in here. We opened these back in December uh, when I was I was um, in the Midwest at a Meyer and they had them, so I had to bring them back with me. So these ones I actually found off eBay, and I don't know if the person just had a ton of them, they were getting rid of them, but I picked up every one they had. <laughs> um, I, I don't have the opportunity to buy these that often. So we're going to be diving into, um, I don't know, probably a couple of these. So without further ado, let's um, look into this. If this card, um, that uh, Ultras, Ars, Ultras, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Jumbos in there, I actually owe that to someone. Uh, it was a previous giveaway, and the post office destroyed the package on the way to them. So if there's one in here, it's their lucky day. But obviously this is displaying like Phantom Forces. I think it's a slim chance that's in there. It says, uh, look for graded cards. Um, yeah, let's get a first edition Shadowless Zard in there. So, I I highly doubt any of that's in there. Real Breaking Nate, he actually did a video recently, and he pulled a Phantom Force pack. Uh, it was out of one of the individual ones that they sell. I believe it was Walgreens that had it. But, that's some uh, crazy luck. I know he opens these also. So, he's been through his fair share of them to finally get that. Hoping today's our day. So... We're going to open this up, and it always has that lovely thing on this side. And I do have this Jumbo card. It is one of the cooler ones I've seen. Um, I need to reach out to him. I believe his, um, it's Andy something is his name that's in there. So if you see this, you know, uh, just leave a leave a comment down here. But I'll uh, dig up your email, and I'll get, out, I'll get this out to you. So what we have inside here is we're going to have um, five packs, a code card, a tin, and a bonus item. So we're just going to dive. Uh, so, okay. This is our tin. I was expecting, I believe we had Pokeballs last time. They were really huge. So this only has two packs. All right. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is a little over the price mark. The tins, I believe, had three packs in them. But we're going to open this up. I have no idea even what packs are in this. This is from 2019. So, I don't know. Maybe we get something crazy. Uh, nice little Entei. We got the sticker card. I don't know. One of the two. But we have Fusion Strike. Seriously? Seriously? All right, uh, so I don't open up Rebel Clash on the channel. I never have. I never will. Uh, so, Andy, if you see this video, the um, that promo card and pack of cards is yours. <laughs> so we're opening one pack here from that tin, and it is a pack of Fusion Strike. Man, Rebel Clash is in these. That's just like, that just gets to me. All right, so I'm not sure what happened with my camera during that point, but... I did the card trick on the pack. I'll, ha I'll have to see. I don't even know if it probably caught this up. But the hollow, um, the rare, actually came to the front with the pack trick. So when I counted the cards, there's actually an extra card in this pack. Um, it's not uncommon. I mean, that happens time to time. But it's just, uh, I don't know. It's Otto was the first pack. Kind of threw me off. So we got rid of the tin there. We only opened up one of the packs. I thought there was going to be three packs in the tin. So we have left... Um, Five booster packs, a bonus item, and a code card. We're going to try to get that code card. 
So I like the code cards because it kind of tells you where these packs are from. So which you can kind of gauge your expectations for. And this is an Infernate V-Box. I believe that was Lost Origins that was in there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Lost Origin. The crazy thing about these boxes is I actually pulled on one of the prior videos one of the OG code cards that didn't didn't say like uh, I, I forget what it had. It was like the website was weird on it, but I pulled one of those. I pulled XY code cards, obviously, and we get a redemption here with Fusion Strike. So I, I like the code cards. Um, just mainly it it gives me some some hope to see that okay, well these aren't just all common regular boxes. So the pack this pack is right, it appears. Uh, but we got a Berserker, uh, Alyssa Sparkle, Rookie Dookie, Sizzlepeed, Stuffle, Pampor, into a Toxicroak, non hollow So we're left with uh, just four packs and a bonus item. This is actually a, a weird thing to go through because I, I don't like looking inside of what it is either. I just pull them out. So on to Silver Tempest. Maybe the uh, the next mystery box that we open right after this one will be a lot better. More smoother. Get in the groove of it a little bit. So we got a Don Fam, Braxian, Bongu, Sandy Gas, Relicanth, Halucha, Rufflet, Capture and Aroma into a Victini non hollow. So I know there's a lot of uh, thoughts that, oh, Chilling Rain. It's a nice pack. That these packs do come weighed. I, I get the whole, you know, mentality that these uh, packs are, you know, these booster boxes are scams and everything. So uh, we've, we've had some really good luck on pulls out of these packs. We really have. So, uh, we haven't pulled any, any crazy packs. We got, a, uh, like, uh, Evolutions, I think, was the oldest pack we got. A lot of Sun and Moon, but nothing, you know, super, super crazy. Uh, Ralts, uh, Venipede, Avery, and a Weevil. So, no pulls yet for this box. And we are into a pack now of Brilliant Stars. We've, we've been on a complete crazy tear with polls, so we're definitely due. We're absolutely due. We're going to keep cashing out here. Luxio, Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetch, Execute Grimer, Torterra, to a Lucario. I mean, we're getting the uh, quote-unquote black code cards that are in here. Yeah, so we're getting the poll. Well, the hollows. We're not getting, like, the, uh, the crazy packs. So we're left. All right, so the mystery item, we'll grab that out. It's actually um, Pokemon Key Ring. I did not get one of these at all last time they did this. So that's pretty cool. Do not have one of those. Is this actually Pokemon Company? It is. From 2016. Like, how long have these been, you know, sitting somewhere? <laughs> like, the Pokeballs all discolored. So uh, I think we just got one more pack in here. So I'm just going to... Yep, just one more pack. And we are at Lost Origin. So, going through my binder of Lost Origin, I need the Garatina. I've claimed, oh man, why, oh why, that we will continue to open this until I get the Garatina. And I need a lot of the rainbow cards, and that's about it. But we got nothing in that. That is the expectation that people put out there for those mystery boxes that may be the worst one i've opened but good thing we got more so we're gonna dive into another one of these now <laughs> and let's see it's crazy if uh it actually has that card in it again i think those cards run like when i pulled them up when i did the video before i don't know if they've come down in price since they they were in both the boxes that I opened last time, but th that's like a twenty dollar jumbo. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. If you go on TCG and check that card out. So we got our uh, our trash that's in there, and we got a another Articuno Moltres Zapdos jumbo. I mean that is a sweet card. 
That is, that is super cool. Super cool. So, oh man, just tell me there's not any more Rebel Trash in here. Ah, uh, ooh, Pokemon Go. I'll take it. <laughs> A chance to not get um, Rebel Clash. That'll probably be the pack that has the pole in it, though. So, uh, that is a solid Pikachu coin. I've never seen that before. Normally, I'm not a coin fan, but that one is a uh, that one's a keeper. So we got the Snorlax. Here's some Pokemon Go codes. Well, they got cheap. There's only two on here. And what do we got? Two packs or three packs? Just two. Can live with that. Pokemon Go. So we're looking for uh, Mewtwo's, the Rainbow, the Alternate Art. Um, what else is in here? I think those are like the two big cards. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Go. It's been a while since we opened the set. The set I'd like. I feel like they could have done so much more with this. Like this set, they should have brought out when Pokemon Go launched. Or like kind of after. This dropped like two, three years after Pokemon Go came out, which is just crazy to me. Bulbasaur, beat up Onyx to a Articuno Hollow. I had a lot of fun with the set, probably because I had a lot of fun playing the game. Put a few years into it, grinded it. Just uh, lost interest, though. So I, I know there's still a pretty decent-sized community that goes at it. Egg Incubator, Larvitar, Natu, Apom, Slowpoke, Eevee, into a Tyranitar. So what are we left here with? Uh, five booster packs, a code card, and a bonus item. Are we going to get another keychain? I'm going to try to find a code card. Here's a code card. Um, also, Infernape V-Box. And where are we at pack-wise? Fusion Strike. One of the main things I like about these boxes, normally I, you know, when I feel like, gosh, I don't like those code cards. Um, <laughs> I like the pack variety. Watch me pull another fusion strike. Oh, I thought I did when I saw the color. I like the pack variety. Um, it's not like you're opening up the same packs over and over, but I tell you what. These sword and shield poles are just been horrendous. Do we flip it? Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, the green. I think it can go either way. So let's hope here. We need that Galarian Rapidash, the one that I really want. Lapras, Cast Form, Golet, Forfru, Deerling, into a Wheezing, non hollow. So, where are we at? Um, there's... Oh, what is this? What? Tops stickers from 1999. Um, this is pretty crazy. I don't know what to do here. All right, so... Full transparency. I totally pulled these up on eBay to see what they go for. Um, this is considered a vintage item. It is from 99. So this is 15 years old. They go for about five bucks a pack. Let's see what we get. PSA does grade these. So I don't know what stickers are in here. Um, they actually are kind of sticking to, oh, there we go. It's peeling off. But I tell you what, if there's like a Gengar in here, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> this is fun. I've, I've never opened these before. We got a Squirtle. Uh, I guess that'd be like a hollow or something or a rare. Uh, we got Executor. We got a Venusaur. Another Venusaur. Gloom. Oh, we got my boy War, War Turtle, though. Super, super cool. I don't know. These are uh, these caught me off guard. I did not expect to have these. Oh, they are numbered on the back. That's crazy. So, yeah, they're numbered. So every... That's crazy. So I don't know, guys. We uh, we pulled a vintage pack from 99. Not the one we're looking for, but that's cool. That's cool. All right, so what are we left with? We have uh, three packs left here. We got Lost Origin. 
Come on, let's get the Garatina. Let's get it. Let's get it. Really good sign there. Almost screwed up that opening again. Three, four. Come on. Come on. Cedra. Dotler. Lost City. Shepard. Seal. Rock Rough. Litwick. Come on. Into a... All right, so we end up with a polar. We got a Gudra V-Star. Not the Garatina alternate art. Nonetheless, we got a pull. So we have two packs left here. And we are going with... Oh, let's go. Guardians Rising. All right, this box is a lot better. Let's see what this one is, though. Silver Tempest. So this box was um definitely a win compared to the first one. That's crazy, those stickers. Um, definitely a lot cooler than the keychain, in my opinion. So we got Guardians Rising. Let's go. Silver Tempest. The set we've had, probably the one set we've had the most luck with on this channel. Three of the uh, Lugias. Can we make it four? Clang, Cladle, Beldum, Solos, Zoo, Bat, Fungus, a sweet trainer gallery. Can't be mad at that. Malamar. I have to see, I'm slowly putting together my, uh, sorting through all the poles I have to put see what i still need for silver tempest i know there's not much so this is our last pack guys this is go i do not like that at all um yeah i mean it's not cut i don't know if that's just from the packs that is a little concerning not gonna lie I've never had a pack split the full way. I've had it where it's a little bit, which is fine. I mean, there's no, I don't know. I don't know. This is going down the rabbit hole now. But I guess the only thing we can do is see if there's a pole in there. If there is, it kind of gets rid of it. If not, it's going to be left out there like the what if. So this is our last pack. It is guardian. I mean, all that is really loose. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm not really sure what to think about this, but I guess we'll uh, run through it, see what it is. I've never had a pack that's been fully, fully open on the bottom. I've had it where it's open a little bit. I mean, it's sun and moon. I don't know how it was stored, so... Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. The code card is... It's green, but it can go either way at times. So, um, yeah, I I just don't know. <laughs> Trubbish, Machop, Geodude, Mudberry, Sandrew... Just as somebody who just did a video about like MJ Holdings and how they weren't scammy, I go and I open up mystery boxes because I ordered them a while ago and they finally arrived. And this happens on this pack. But uh, Whale Lord, uh, it is a rare. I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know how easy it is to open something just on the bottom like that. I guess for uh, research, um, can we split this just on the bottom? So, <laughs> this one from a mystery box opening to... Um, I mean, yeah, you can. You absolutely can. I can't do very well getting the cards out, though. But... You can open packs this way. Because that's that's how it was in the box. Let's try not to damage this here. So, I, I guess... I don't know. I don't know, guys. This one was a little, uh, little sketchy to me. So... More Pico, Nicket, Eevee, Glossifer, Choodle, <laughs> Yamper. So, we, get, we end up getting a pull out of the pack off my shelf. But, I don't know, that that last pack, yeah, I mean, they're not in the box, it was shipped, I guess it could happen, it's definitely plausible, but I, I just don't know what would be in Guardians Rising that somebody would check them before they tossed them in. I mean, it's not like a, there's huge poles in it, 
So, I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss on this one. But it, it was a blast. I'm definitely going to have to dive into this a little bit more. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you next time.